And now to a story that we've been following for a few months now. The Meriden School District's ongoing bus issues, ranging from driver strikes, new company deals, and now parents are saying the new buses are late and drivers are unsafe. Yeah, first student took over those Meriden routes at the start of the year. Fox 61's Brooke Griffin has been on this story since the start, and as she reports this morning, parents say they've got some concerns about this new provider. Many of the parents I've spoken with say they don't want to go on camera for fear their child could get in trouble with their bus driver. But they've told me since first student took over, their child has been missing classes, sporting events, breakfast in the mornings, and they've witnessed the drivers not being as safe as they would like them to be. This all started back in September when the Meriden bus drivers under the New Britain bus company went on strike due to wanting higher wages and better benefits. A permanent deal between the union and NBT was never reached. Instead, the district hired a first student to take over the contract on January 2nd. Some of the NBT drivers stayed on with first student in that transition. Since then, parents say they're having issues with the drivers and the buses. One parent tells us her kids are often picked up almost an hour late. The driver on multiple incidents has gone over train tracks with the track warning lights flashing or is just texting behind the wheel and drop off is often delayed. Other parents have told me off camera their child's bus is broken down on the way to school or track meets on more than one occasion. I asked for a student to address the issues parents have brought up. They replied in part, as drivers learned new bus routes and adjustments continue to be made, there have been some delays with buses picking up and dropping off the students. We understand the frustration this causes parents and we appreciate their patience as we establish our operations in Meriden. First student leaders also mentioned they have a strict maintenance program each bus goes through. One parent says all of the issues combined are unacceptable. They were late three out of five days. And yeah, it's excused tardy, but they're still late. They're missing breakfast. They're late to homeroom, so they do they they do miss some stuff. And if they're late to class and she and other parents say if these issues continue and have no sort of resolution, they will be finding other ways to get their children to and from school so that they know they're both on time and safe in Meriden Brook Griffin, Fox 61 Connecticut's news station.